Jäger schnitzel means hunter's cutlet in German. And the dish was originally made with venison or wild boar backstraps pounded thin. It's now normally made with pork chops. And the Texas specialty chicken fried steak is believed to be a derivative of this dish brought to the United States by German immigrants. Jäger schnitzel at its core is a thin cutlet of meat served with a mushroom gravy. Potatoes, whether boiled, mashed, or in a salad, are a traditional side dish. Potatoes weren't exactly popular in Germany when explorers brought them back from South America. In fact, potatoes got to Germany by a long route, first from the Spanish from South America to Spain, and then they slowly spread throughout Europe. The Spanish first thought that they were truffles, maybe because they were dug up from the earth like truffles. The Italians were the first to cultivate potatoes, but with little luck. The word cartoffel comes from the Italian word for tartufolo, or truffles. Since the leaves were poisonous, the potatoes got a bad reputation as something to avoid. Potatoes also got the reputation of causing lustful thoughts, so many avoided these fruits of the devil, as they said, even if they were hungry. Vincent van Gogh, when living in Holland, which is right next to Germany, felt that the peasant farmers were a very honest, hard-working group, and so he painted a picture that is now famous called the Potato Eaters. He said that the same hand that ate potatoes also dug in the soil to raise and harvest it, and it is said that he was very moved by the integrity of these people. Hunter's sauce is a simple sauce, consisting of mushrooms, shallots or onions, tomatoes, and a demi-glace, which is basically a brown stock reduced in half and combined with a brown sauce known as espinola sauce, which is one of the five mother sauces. However, today I'm going to make a very, very quick sauce that is loaded with tomatoes and wild mushrooms, and I'm only going to use beef stock here instead of demi-glace. The idea here is to showcase these king oyster mushrooms and to allow the acidity of the tomatoes to intensify the pork chop's natural sweetness and savory undertones. 